All right, guys, so let's talk about how you can actually get your funds over to Avalanche, okay? So you have two options. Option number one is gonna be through a centralized exchange. And for those who don't have um, like any exposure to any other platforms, like you don't have any ETH on Ethereum, you don't have any BNB on Binance Smart Chain, then this is gonna be your only option, okay? The other option is if you do have ETH on Ethereum or BNB on Binance Smart Chain, and you just wanna bridge some of that over, all right? Let's start with this first option. So buy AVAX from a centralized exchange. You can buy AVAX from a bunch of different places, but the options that I'm gonna cover here are the ones that have C chain support because that's gonna make your life a whole lot easier, all right? So your three biggest options are uh, KuCoin. So let's put KCC. You have Binance and you have Coinbase, okay? They all have C chain support. So make sure that when you are buying and sending it over that you're on the right network. Okay, so let me show you on KuCoin, for example. Say you're sending Avalanche, you're sending AVAX. Make sure you have the C chain selected, okay? Because you can lose your funds if you're sending it through the X chain and then you're sending it to a MetaMask wallet address, okay? Because that's what sending it through the C chain will allow you to do. So you can basically just open up your MetaMask wallet and you can just paste it in there. And what you'll notice is that as soon as you put it in there, automatically you can't um, you can't choose the normal X chain. But not all um, all exchanges are like that. Some of them will allow you to choose it. So make sure that you are choosing C chain. Okay. Now we've done that. We bought our AVAX from a centralized exchange. We sent it to MetaMask via a C chain bridge. Okay. Now the last step is to just stake it. Okay. Because you already have it um, in your MetaMask wallet now. So we can just go to Aave. You're gonna to go to markets, okay? First, you're gonna to have to connect all the way here at the top right. You're gonna click connect, I'm already connected. So once you're connected, you're gonna go down here, you're gonna click the asset that you wanna supply, okay? So say you wanna supply AVAX, right? Cause you got some AVAX to your MetaMask wallet, right? The AVAX arrived, let's say the AVAX arrived and you click over here, you're gonna click on the asset itself. So you're gonna click on Avalanche. And then over here on the right hand side, you're gonna see deposit and withdraw, okay? And over here, it'll also show your wallet balance. So how much you have in your MetaMask wallet currently. It'll show you how much you have deposited already on Aave. And it'll give you the option to use that deposit as collateral or not. Basically, if you use it as collateral, you can borrow against it. Okay. So you're going to click deposit and basically just deposit however much you want. And that's it. Okay. Simple enough. So next option. Let's say you have ETH. Okay. You have ETH and you want to bridge it over to Avalanche. Okay. The easiest way is to just use the official bridge, okay? So it's bridge.avax.network. It's going to make me connect to Ethereum. Switch network, okay? And then basically if you have ETH, put ETH. If you have whatever other asset you have, you can bridge it over, okay? That's going to be for Ethereum, all right? Now, Binance Smart Chain. For Binance Smart Chain, you're going to use this, any swap, okay? Any swap.exchange, and you're going to click bridge over here on the left-hand side, and you're going to click Binance Smart Chain Mainnet, it'll connect you to the Binance Smart Chain Mainnet. Switch network. And then down here, we're gonna choose AVAX Mainnet, okay? And then you can just send your BNB over, okay? It has a minimum of 0 0.014. So let's do 0 0.015. And then yeah, you can just basically swap it over. This is really nice. This, this makes it really easy for you, okay? So next step, we've done this, right? We bridged it over. Now, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna swap ETH for AVAX, if you want, right? I'm assuming that's what you wanna do. Um, but if you wanna just stake your ETH on um, on Aave, you can do that as well, okay? So for you, if that's what you wanna do, it pretty much just ends here, okay? Now, if you wanna swap your ETH for AVAX, I'd highly recommend using Paraswap, okay? Paraswap is a DEX aggregator. So basically what it does is it finds you the best prices, okay? So say you wanna swap your ETH for AVAX, rather than going to Trader Joe and saying, okay, how much AVAX can I get for this ETH? And then going to Pangolin and saying, how much AVAX can I get? So rather than doing that and checking them all manually, Paraswap basically checks the prices for you and tells you, okay, if you wanna swap ETH for AVAX, the best price is this exchange, whatever exchange it is. And then you can actually swap it on Paraswap. Like you don't have to go to that exchange itself, okay? So it's a DEX aggregator. It makes your life a lot easier and it's gonna give you the best price possible, okay? I can show you uh, Paraswap real quick. Why don't I do that? So this is Paraswap. It has a very nice UI. It's very easy to use, not that complicated, okay? So now you did that. Let's say you got your AVAX 
And then, yeah, last step, we showed you, right? So you basically are just gonna go, same thing, markets. Let's say let's say we wanna do ETH this time, okay? Just, just to show you guys a different example. So let's do ETH, uh, same thing. Your wallet balance, already deposited, using as collateral. Deposit, I don't have any ETH, so I can't deposit. So, But if you did have ETH, you'd be able to, to deposit, okay? All right, so I know this was a pretty fast-paced video. I went through everything pretty quickly, but if you're having trouble keeping up, just pause the video and actually get on here and, and do it alongside me. It'll make it a lot easier, okay? And if you're having trouble with any specific step, um, just comment down below and I'll try to get to you as soon as I can, okay? All right, that's about it. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, make sure to like, subscribe, and I will catch you guys in the next one, okay? See you later.